the fact that I've been called re a relativist, as I think back on it now, I know that's one of the reasons. I, I mean, I'm not interested in engaging in debates with people because, you know, your opinion is yours and mine is mine. And really, what's the point of that? I'm what I say is rarely going to change your mind, especially if you feel adamant about your beliefs. Mm -hmm. All it's going to do is create, you know, an environment potential for anxiety or frustration. I've been thinking a similar thing lately with debates on almost anything. It's which, great if you have dialogue with somebody who's open minded. Yes. And they're willing to like um, kind of play that tennis game of back and forth. This is what I believe. 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 And then you you learn something. Yeah. But if you're faced with somebody who is like, I'm right and you're wrong, I mean, it's just what's the point of that? So would you feel that Gary's definitism, definitivism, or my definitivism comes off as closed-minded? So I know you. So I know you're not closed-minded. I know that all I have to do is ask you a question about it a clarifying question and I'll get more information as to why you believe what you believe. Um, and I respect that everybody has their own, you know, belief system, uh, the way that they conduct their life. I don't know about, I don't know about Gary. I doubt that I'm ever going to be able to, I mean, just through Instagram and stuff like that. There's no way I'm going to know what, whether or not he's closed minded. I don't, I wouldn't say he's closed minded. I've never gotten that sense from him. Um, Do you think oh, that's interesting? I think he's a he's opinionated. Um, opinionated doesn't necessarily mean close minded, though. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think opinionated and close minded are the same thing. I do think he has an opinion on quite a few things. Yes. <laughs> I also see him say, I don't know a lot, though. Yeah, I think oftentimes if I'm faced with somebody who's opinionated and I ask a couple questions, a couple clarifying questions, it changes the whole um, nature of this, the rhythm of the conversation, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I think the times that an opinion person, opinionated person appears closed minded is when I'm also opinionated. And so you've got two people that are maybe just not, they're just not communicating. Because one person is stating their truth, the other person is stating their truth, and neither are listening. One person has to be authentically listening. And when you're authentically listening, you're um, really wanting to know the other person. You're wanting to, you're wanting to know their perspective. Um, you're really wanting to understand them. Um, that, you know, get a true sense of them. Thanks again for joining us today. If you'd like to connect with us on social media, you can find Anna Marie at Mindfully Anna Marie. You can find myself at Emily VDW, and you can find Evan at underscore Evan Ryan. We'll talk to you next week.